Canada is a country that is considered to have a good healthcare system, but does it really provide good healthcare to all population groups? Let's examine the Canadian healthcare system. When we take a closer look at the LGBTQ health, do healthcare professionals incorporate open space for all populations who access healthcare system? We've seen that the capacities of community engagement and unity of the LGBTQ population are present. Many resources are available, such as the 519 Community Center and the Progress Place. However, are they accessed by the LGBTQ population? Do they feel judged and supported by healthcare professionals? Are the healthcare professionals properly trained to communicate with this population group? Members of the LGBTQ community often do not receive the necessary care and consideration due to a lack of education concerning issues pertaining to the LGBTQ population. This neglect and oversight of sensitivity towards and knowledge of the LGBTQ population has many ramifications, including a lack of necessary care, increased risk for contracting diseases such as HIV, and a perpetuation of social stigma that regards those of non heterosexual identities as being less important or valuable than the rest. I'm so nervous about being here. I don't know if I can talk about my sexual orientation with the professionals. Will they judge me? I'm Alan, and I'll be your nurse, and I'll just be doing an assessment before you see the physician. Okay. So, what brings you in here today? Um, I just want a physical. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, have there been any recent changes in your health? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. So, I noticed that you forgot to check off male or female here, so I'll just go ahead and check off female for you. Oh. Alright. Okay. Oh, but I don't identify that way. Just because I look like I am female to you, who are you to define who I am? Good. Sometimes we forget. All right, cool. Do you have any particular questions or concerns? Um, can I get tested for SCIs? Okay, so are you and your boyfriend having sexual intercourse? Just because I look like I'm a girl to you, you assume that I have a boyfriend? Um, I don't have a boyfriend. All right, are you having sex with multiple um, partners? Mm, um, no, I don't have sex with... I've never had sex with men before, no. Why do you assume that I have sex with men only? What about everyone else? Okay, all right. Well, if you're not having sex, then you don't really have to worry about STIs. Oh. Um, that's only a concern if you're actually sexually active. Okay. Um, so you don't really need to get tested. Um, but when you do, or if you do, then you should always look into methods of birth control like condoms or the pill. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. That was very thoughtful. Yeah, no problem at all. Okay. Alright, so the doctor should be with you shortly. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I am sexually active, just not with the people you assume I do. I am at risk for STIs, but you are making me so uncomfortable that I don't feel safe to disclose my personal life. Where do I go now? Here are some statistics about how the LGBTQ population feels about their interactions with healthcare professionals. HIV AIDS was the number one cause of premature mortality within the Church Young Corridor, which leads to the need to reorient health services. We recommend that education regarding topics and issues particular to the LGBTQ community be incorporated into the nursing curriculum, focusing on teaching communication and assessment skills that are inclusive of the LGBTQ community will help to provide positive space and create equitable healthcare for all.